The mushrooms there are some of the harshest mushrooms oh, you've boy. ever had. They're the Viking mushrooms. You had the one that make you go berserker. The berserker. <laughs> yeah, the berserker. I, don't, I don't know if I want to do berserker. Yeah, ones. make you lose an arm. You're like, I'm not not gonna fight. Yeah, dude. I'm fighting. Yeah. I barely feel this. I'm on the <laughs> berserker. <laughs> berserker. Where you been and where you going? This is Ari's travel show. Yeah, we're gonna talk about travel today. It's you. Hey guys, it's your old pal Ari Shapiro to tell you that I'm on the road. Dan Soder has a new special out right now called On the Road. Make sure to check it out. Just went over 1 million views, one of the best comics working today. Um, if you've never seen Dan, you will really enjoy this special. He's hilarious and has been for a long time. And I, I'm, I'm glad that everybody's getting a chance to see it. He fucking kills. So you guys will love it. I'm also on the road. First and foremost, my new stand-up comedy special is taping in Washington, D.C., April 26th and 27th. The 27th is almost sold out. We just added a show on the 26th. Uh, get tickets right now at AriShafir.com. That's at the Capital Turnaround. I'm also, oh, Australia just went on full sale. The pre-sale is over. Melbourne, Adelaide, Canberra, Brisbane, Sydney. Starting May 17th, going all the way to June 1st. And then I've also got these dates. Hoover, Alabama, Nashville, Huntsville, Knoxville, Memphis, Lexington on March 30th, Cleveland, Ohio. Both shows sold out on March 31st, so we added two shows on April 2nd. Uh, Cincinnati, Columbus. I think those are sold out. I don't know why I say the sold out ones. Grand Rapids, Detroit, and Toronto. Second show added at the Queen Elizabeth Theater. Um, get tickets for all shows, as I said, at ariShafir.com. And Soda's also on the road. You can see him starting this coming weekend. Zanies in Nashville. I'm just going to run them down. Omaha, D.C., April 20th. Nice, 420. You got to see Dan on 420. Uh, Providence, uh, Grand Rapids. Nice. Um, Columbus, Macon, Georgia. Savannah, Georgia. Daytona Beach. Nice. Canton, Ohio. Columbia, Maryland. Maryland boy. Pittsburgh. Camdenton, Brayden, Brandon, Mississippi. Wow. Oh, these are Burt tickets. Indianapolis. Um, oh, this is back to his. Buffalo. Get tickets for all shows at dansoder.com. Hello, everybody. Welcome to UB Trippin', uh, the world's only podcast. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, the podcast, the travel podcast, we take you all over the world. Today, uh, I got my friend Dan Soder on. He's uh, one of the top comedians in New York. And oh. and by that, uh, also one of the top comedians in the world. Woo! Works that way for stand-up comedy and jazz. Yeah! Um, uh, and today, uh, we're going to go, where are we going today? Iceland. Iceland. Fuck Reykjavik. Yeah. Oh, Iceland. I've been there. Yeah. Oh, man. It was um, 2018, I was at Zany's in Nashville. Okay. And I was like... Never taking a vacation. I don't travel like you do. I just, I, yeah. you, we were talking about it before the podcast. I just work too much in dumb ways. So I was like, I'm a, I was looking up Queens of the Stone Age. Yeah. And I was like, oh, they're, they're not playing in the United States, but they're playing in Stockholm. And I was, you're and, a huge Queens fan. Huge Queens. Of the, they're my okay. favorite band, Queens yeah. of the Stone Age. And so I was like, I've seen them a bunch, but I was like, my family's from Sweden. You know, like really, yeah. My I, like, I'm Swedish hair. Soders. Does the O and Soder have two dots over it? No, we took it off at <laughs> but Ellis it like, Island, but it did. Because <laughs> Ellis Island, like, hey, we don't do that two dots. Hey, thing. get those dots no, out. No, but I was, you did. Or, I'm like, yeah, we don't. Those sounds. My name is Shade. And they're like, I don't give a shit. And they're like, but you are me to get your country. So my grandfather Shut knocked up Simonson. Get in there. <laughs> You're Soder. You go. So they knocked the umlauts off, and then my grandfather moved to Sweden, or my great grandfather moved to Sweden, and then my dad's sides. All Swedish and my mom is Irish. So I, I was like, oh, I want to go to Sweden. So I called my best friend and I'm like, that I grew up with. And yeah. I'm like, dude, if I pay for travel, will you come with me to Sweden? And he's like, I'll take care of a hotel if you pay for travel. Oh, sick. So, I was, oh, no, no, no. I reversed it. I was like, I will take care of tickets and hotels if you buy your plane ticket. To tickets Sweden. To the, tickets to the, uh, I'll buy my Queens ticket. The show. You just buy your plane ticket. Right. And I'll buy, I'll get tickets to the Queens get of Stone there, Age. Get there, I got a room for you and a, ho- and a, and a ticket We'll get two show. rooms. Yeah. I got two rooms for us. And he's like, fuck yeah, I'd love to do that. And so oh, then I check sick. in with the bonfire, and uh, DJ Lou Witzke's like, I'm actually going that next week. I'll be in Amsterdam to see Pearl Jam. Oh, wow. And I called Mike back, and I'm like, 
you want to make this like a week trip yeah. and go to Amsterdam and see Pearl Jam after we see Queens of the Stone Age in Stockholm? And he was like, fuck yes. And then he's like, hey, I'm going to toss it out there. I think we should do the last four days in Reykjavik on the way back. So we go Sweden, Amsterdam, Iceland. And I was like, yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Why? Was, was the Queens of the Stone Age tour? No. Oh, it was just like, let's do some He's shit. like, dude, if we're over here, yeah. let's just go to Iceland. Wow. I've always wanted to go to Iceland. Yeah. And I was like, oh, absolutely. So we, Did you get that layover ticket thing? Yeah. You did? Yeah. So it was a thing where it was like, you were actually flying, like, the trip really was Stockholm to New York. Yeah. But it went Stockholm, Amsterdam, Reykjavik. Oh. And we did it like by days. Wow. So it worked out. And the tickets weren't that expensive. And um, Sweden was gorgeous. I had a really good time in Sweden. There's Iceland's over there. Sweden. It's yeah. over reverse. Sweden's over here somewhere. Sweden's over there, right in the middle. Or yeah. all the way. There you go. All the way to the left. Stockholm. Yeah. Yeah. Right there. Stockholm's Beautiful. Pretty, pretty cool town. Yeah. I loved it. And then we went down to Amsterdam. Yeah. Had a great time. And then flew to Reykjavik. And it was right there. Yeah. It was uh, fucking beautiful. What time of year was it? June. June. Oh, wow. So it was the summer solstice. It was uh. like right around the summer solstice. So you're like, it's daylight most of the time. Yeah. And I used it's to as work, high up as Anchorage. Yeah. I mean, I did a pod. Higher. You know, we did a very long podcast of yours about me living in Alaska. Uh-huh. Same with the daylight. Yeah. I mean, you're you can look at it on the latitude line or whatever. Yeah, you're up here. Yeah. So you're you're. I mean, it's the same above, as above above that. I was right here in the Cook Inlet. Yeah, well above that. But you're that like line. so. You're, it was uh. It was like, damn. Twenty hours of daylight. Oh. And so we were like, this is gonna be fucking awesome. But we also went hard in Sweden <laughs> and in Amsterdam. Wait, were you drinking? No, but I was just like doing mushrooms. Oh, we, Amsterdam. You know, yeah. Just fucking smoking weed. Amsterdam doing... is a is a um a sober guy's like. <laughs> Like, oh, we're going for it. Yeah, I can't cut <laughs> loose in Vegas or New Orleans, but I can get it. Yeah, after you can get it. I can get it. An <laughs> and that's, I mean, I would just go to the Bulldog Cafe, like, in the morning and have a coffee and smoke, like, three spliffs, and then, then start my day. Just act like Ralphie Mae. Yeah, <laughs> I was just fucking going. And so we went to Iceland, and we were tired, but it was the place we did the most stuff. Like, Amsterdam, we went to the Van Gogh Museum. We saw Pearl Jam. We went around the city. Sweden, we went to the Vasa Museum, saw Queens of the Stone Age. We did yeah. some shit. Iceland, we were like, we're going to the Blue Lagoon. We're going around. We're walking around all of Reykjavik. Yeah. Reykjavik? Reykjavik? I keep fucking I think it's Reykjavik. I Reykjavik. call it the Rake. But, the Rake. But Let's I've call it the Rake so anyone there. from Iceland's not yeah. mad at me. Yeah. I said that's my friend, Ari Eljarn, who lives at Comic there. Yeah. And I was like, what's going on in the Rake? And he was like, Dude, no. <laughs> <laughs> I see what you're doing. We're, not, we're yeah. not starting that. That's like when people call San Francisco San Fran. Yeah. And you're like, people are like, don't do, do that. The They're like, don't do that. San Fran. Everybody from there is like, no. It's SF. Yeah. <laughs> or the Bay. SFC at worst if you're black. Yeah. yeah. So they, um, so we went to Reykjavik. Rake. We went to the Rake. The Rake. Yeah. <laughs> I, now the rest of the podcast, I don't know what to call it. Reykjavik. <laughs> it's Reykjavik. Reykjavik. Yeah. I don't know why I tried to put a little extra on it. We went there and it's light. Yeah. But it's like June, but you can wear a sweatshirt. Is it warm? It's it's cool it's at like night. It's like 60. <sighs> yeah. And then at night it gets like cool, cooler. Can you imagine it that warmed that's up to about good, 70. That's about as good as it gets. Love it. There where it's like they're like summertime where it's like it's just sweater weather. Is Dude, summertime? I love it. Yeah. I love it. I had so much fun walking around there and the places you know they have like historical things where you're like oh vikings were here yeah like right. Vikings yeah. landed here and it's documented wow and so they have like there's like this ship on the coast that's like an art expo that we went and looked at and like we just walked we really just it's the most i wandered around anywhere and it was very very fun hi everybody today's episode of you be tripping is brought to you by one of my favorite sponsors the freeze pipe guys it's fucking refreshing you ever smoke weed and get a fucking, uh, uh, and fucking cough? Of course you do. Especially if you smoke half-smoked bowls like I do all the time. Because why throw it out? Why throw it out? Oh, I'm sure I don't have enough money to fucking get a new bowl. Yeah, but what does that have to do with throwing it out? And then it fucking burns. And the freeze pipe said you shouldn't have to burn. So they put fucking glycerin tablets. I don't know. It's fucking magic, guys. It doesn't matter. You stick it in your freezer for like an hour, and then it's smooth. It's smooth like a fucking peppermint schnapps. 
Yeah, you ever drink peppermint schnapps? My drink in college is peppermint schnapps and Sprite. But I did it with people. So it's not antisocial. I did it with people. I did it with like-minded people. We're all passing around the peppermint schnapps. And your breath is just, ah. Well, that's what freeze pipe is. Do you want that? You want that feeling from finding someone who's into the same things as you, from hitting it off with someone of the same gender, the opposite gender, but someone you might finally spend the rest of your life with. Someone you find that you can hit it off with and you're attracted to and you're attracted to not just physically, but also emotionally. That feeling for love, ah, that's the freeze pipe feeling. Every time you hit one of these glycerin enabled fucking pipes that you stick in your freezer for really only an hour, it's that feeling. Not coughing anymore, freeze pipe says no. Have that great feeling ah, of true love. Freeze pipe, let it help you find true love. But for real, Go to thefreezepipe.com right now if you want this in your life. Go to thefreezepipe.com and use promo code TRIPPIN and you get 10% off your order. Yeah, 10% off your order and free shipping at thefreezepipe.com with promo code TRIPPIN. Now let's get back to the episode. <sighs> okay, so tell me about, I mean, what did, you do? did you go to the Blue Lagoon first? We went. The first day we it's just, out near the airport, right? Yeah, the first day we walked around, and we had this restaurant under the Airbnb we had. Oh, cool. And so oh, you got an Airbnb. Yeah, so, yeah. like, this restaurant under the Airbnb had, like, this fish stew yeah. that I was like, what the fuck? And the waitress we had was, like, 21 years old. Naturally one of the most beautiful. <laughs> they're so hot there. They're so hot. It's the inbreeding. It makes them hotter. Dude, and it's also, <laughs> that's why their personalities are Dull as shit. <laughs> My God, dude. The 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 people in the people in Reykjavik made the Swedish look Italian. Uh -huh. Like they were like they were like nah, nah, nah. but they were gorgeous. They're just clear skin. Their <laughs> eyes yeah. are the bluest. It's White Walkers. It's dude. It really is. It's it's like it's so blue. Their eyes are so blue, dude. It was fucking insane. And this woman was beautiful. And we were trying to do that American charm bullshit where we're mm -hmm. like, ah, so is it fun? Yeah, like that. Yeah, and she was like, I don't, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> do, 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 do. Yeah, and then we were like, I think, and then, you know, we're into, I'm an insecure comedian, so I'm like, oh, they hate us. Yeah. And my friend Mike was like, no, I, he's very, like, quiet and smart. Yeah. He's like, no, I think that's just their personality, dude. I don't think they fucking care about they don't they can't be schmoozed oh right yeah americans can be schmoozed that's what waiters do there's I like did, a i was getting uh, i was with a uh, canon and, and sagalo and i went and got some coffee and some girls just lady was just standoffish right away i was like can i go back there to get you know the scoop cup and she was like nobody goes back there i was like okay i was like so what kind of coffee is great can i see she's like yeah here's the last i'm like wow what's what's the sumatran like and, yeah. and eventually just wore it down she's like it's pretty good yeah yeah, yeah. They, uh, that's be schmoozed. that's an american skill is like you can walk down someone with charm. Yeah. But in Iceland, it just, it didn't work. Iceland, they were like, yeah, I don't know what you are trying to do. <laughs> but we were like, that su that fucking stew. What was it? Every yeah, a little bit of everything. I think there was. Was like, it like it the was, basic stew? Or was it just there? I would love to know what it was. Fish stew. It was Icelandic like Icelandic fish stew. I'll look yeah, it look it up because it was like I want to say carp. Oh. Or like shit that you're like, I don't know if I want to eat this. It was something where there was so much stuff, and I had it. Was it plockfisker? Yeah. Or, or fisk, fisk It's plockfisker. <laughs> it's plock, plockfisker. <laughs> That's what, dude, I had it. 20-minute preparation. I had it like three times. Really? Like, it looks hearty as shit, bro. Dude, it was. Plockfisker. It was so like that, good. Or like that. Yeah, dude. And I felt like I was in Game of Thrones eating like that kind of food that you eat near a fire. Oh, and they right. give you bread. Uh, yeah, yeah. You yeah. Just dip the bread. Oh, yeah, bread dude. Right there. Oh, I was going to say, they put bread with it. It's so good. Fuck, I'm salivating. It was so good. And I thought it was going to be gross, and I ordered it as kind of a gag. Right. To be like, let me try your fish stew. I'm like, watch, this shit's going to suck. Isn't it funny where you try something like, I'm supposed to try it. There's no way it's going to be good. But you know, it's, it's like a haggis in, in Scotland. Yeah. But then like, this is actually one of the best late night foods I've ever Dude, had. Dude, Sean Patton <laughs> got so into it when we did Fringe. He's like, I'm going to get some haggis. And everyone's like, what do you want haggis for? And then he was like, Dude, this is actually really good and I like it. Yeah. They were like, I had that with Verner's from, from Michigan. Yeah. With soda. I, I learned about it in a, a marketing class. Where like, <laughs> yeah. Some things are regionally... Uh, uh, equal to like the major brands but only regionally so like only in the michigan area verner's 
ginger soda sells mm-hmm. as much as Coca Cola. Crazy. And then yeah, I learned that in New York at in marketing class. And then my friend was going to the University of Michigan. I was like, get me some Verners. He was like, why? Yeah. And I had it. I'm like, let me just. I'm like, I love it. I'll have it <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> that's what it used to be before the internet. Yeah. You'd have to go to places and be like, oh, they have this stuff. Plockfisker. Plockfisker. And we're probably butchering it. But it was um, damn. Yeah. So it was good. Hearty. Warm. It's hot, right? Warm. They do fish there. Yeah. It was warm. It was really fucking good. Damn. I went back three times. Are there any Four. Iceland? Really? Like to f- this same restaurant? Right under us. Wow. Like I'd look at Food Jack and I'd be like, I'm gonna go get fish too. And he'd quickly like, get some pluck fish. He'd be like, ah, oh, dude. And then <laughs> that hot waitress was working again, and we did the thing of like, us again. We're back, and she was like, st- unaffected. Yeah. <laughs> Can you like, believe it? Another hamburger. She goes. That's the equivalent. Like, yeah. She goes. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, if, if, a, if a European tourist kept coming in being like, another chicken tender for me, we'd be like, okay. If you're a diner, can you imagine a yeah. diner in Queens? And they're like, <laughs> yeah, okay, guy. That was the exact energy she was getting me. I was like, whoa. Yeah, I work at a restaurant. It's not weird for people to eat food. I'm going to be made of this stuff by the end of this. She was like, get out of here, you corny fuck. I had the same thing in Paris. I went to the same place like three times, and I was eventually like, so are you just going to be here now? We should hang out. Where's your place? Are we on the street? Let's hang out over there. But they were like, get the fuck <laughs> out of here. here. Yeah, dude. And then, so then we went to the Blue Lagoon. So you, what did you take? Get an Uber out there and stuff? A bus. A bus. You can go downtown and there's like a bus that'll take you. It's far out of town, right? Yeah. It's a drive. But yeah. it's fucking awesome. It's awesome. Because the drive there, and I have pictures that I'll send you that you oh, put yeah. up. It's volcanic rock. That's so right. the whole That's drive right. there, it you're it looks like you're driving on the surface of Mars. But like with like moss over it. Yes. The grass is just like a coating of green over it. volcanic it's grassy. Did I'll you get out at all? Yeah, for sure. Show me. Uh so when we got there, I like I had a joint and I like walked around. You had a jo- you brought it with you? Yeah. Smart. From Amsterdam. I like hit it in me. And so I like had it and I dude, like, my- smoked and walked around and I was like, damn, dude, this is I was like touching the rocks. Cause when you go in the Blue Lagoon, it's like you go into a place and then you're just in it. Did you were were you at all like the Blue Lagoon? Were you at all like well, we'll talk about it, I guess. But like were you at all disappointed that it's not just a naturally formed uh uh like lagoon? I mean, I thought that's what it was. I thought it was supposed to be like a lake in the middle of nowhere that's hot, but it's like it seems like it's like built up. Yeah, no, they definitely do construction to keep it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, uh, where I just had these pictures. Where the fuck are they? Um, it's definitely like they keep it, they maintain it, they make it look nice. You know what I mean? Yeah. But it was fucking awesome. Yeah. Could you feel where it's like hotter or less hot in certain areas? Yeah. Oh, Do you in, remember the, that? in the lagoon? Yeah. yeah. While you're swimming around? Yeah. It's like, ooh, here's a fissure or something. Yeah. You're like, oh, this is fucking crazy. <laughs> so here's the blue lagoon. Yeah. And uh, that's like the moss rock. Damn. Outside. She'll lay this over. Yeah. Show the audience. <laughs> so that was the Viking, the like oh, cool. the art exhibit where you're like, do the land. Look at that, right on the sound? Yeah. It's right there. Damn. And so we go to the blue lagoon. The blue lagoon, I first saw a picture of the blue lagoon. In, like, you know the gate? Like, when you go from, uh, you, you show them your ticket at the airplane yeah. until you get on the plane, there's that tunnel. Yeah. And then you see pictures sometimes, and it's like, where's this place? Yeah. Dude. Um, like all the volcanic rock coming out of the water. Yeah, That's not Blue Lagoon, is it? This is the Blue Lagoon. This is, like, the actual water. Like, that was outside. Did you get at one of those cases for your phone? No. Uh, yeah. Yeah. They give yeah. you cases. Because everyone's cases. so phoned up now that it's Every, like, no, like, you want to take a picture yeah, of you're this. Yeah, and you can, like, see the steam coming off it. Yeah. So wow. we we look like just a healthy gay couple <laughs> having the <laughs> time really of our lives. Which, by the way, but it's like that's the best right spot outside. to be a gay couple. Oh they don't God. give a shit there. They don't. So, dude, this was pretty fucking awesome. So this that's on the bus. So that's what the bus ride looks so like. So that's the moss covering yeah. covering all the... Damn. I took a picture because my friend was like, where are you? And I'm like, I'm in Iceland. And he was like, no, you're not. No, no, no way. And I was like, I'm in Iceland right now. And I took that picture. I was like, there you go. I'm on a fucking bus. But it was... Um, oh, that's who it was. I think I was texting McDaniel because he was coaching the Niners. And he was like... And he was jealous of you. And I was like, dude, I got my Niners hat on in Iceland. And he was like, oh, shit. So this picture, which will overlay... Is me and Fujak in front of an Icelandic flag, right? Damn. So the World Cup is no. You going went during on. that, dude. During the fucking even better. We were there when they played Argentina, which was their big match because they tied. And that's all. That was like okay. So people don't understand. 
Iceland, and normally I'm not going to do like the, w- the the details of a country or yeah. anything, but it needs to be said for this. Iceland is a country of 250,000 people. Yeah, it's it's smaller or than is most. Is it 400 and 250? I don't in, know. Like, it's, most, it's smaller than most American Far cities. under 1 million people. Far under. So to, to be able to beat or tie a team like Argentina. One of a the world, legendary yeah. team. Yeah. Dude, so we go and we're like, literally the conversation is, all right, well, Iceland's playing Argentina. Yeah. Should we watch it at the Blue Lagoon? Because downtown in Reykjavik, they had like bleachers set up in like the oh, town yeah, square. Been, every bar must have been packed. And we're like, and you know, I don't drink, so I'm like, that might be hard for me. Triggering. But maybe there, there's probably TVs at, at the Blue Lagoon. The Blue Lagoon, and then we can watch it at this place with Iceland. And it was really our only day we could go to the Blue Lagoon. Okay. So we're like, let's go to the Blue Lagoon. And we go, and uh, we we like. We go to the Blue Lagoon, we shower off, and then we ask one of the staff members, this African dude. We're like, hey, are there TVs here? And he's yeah. like, there's no TVs here. And we're no. like, ah, oh, shit, we're trying to watch the World Cup game. And he was like, oh, you're trying to watch football? And we're like, yeah. And he's like, do you want to watch it with the staff? Oh, my like, God. Yes. <laughs> and so yes! He, so he's like, <laughs> that's better. Yeah, he's like, come with us. No. And I had half an edible, and I ate the edible immediately. And I was so like, let it, you got to let it kick in. I was so like, like, let's oh, go. I need, this, I need this now. <laughs> so, dude, we go. Wait, after you soaked or before? This, we already swam. Oh, and my we got, God. Because we went in the morning. You got to shower off, because it smells like eggs, right? Yeah. So yeah you got to shower it, off. You smell like sulfur and shit. Yeah. So it was like, or how, whatever that smell is. But we shower off, we get dressed. And I see that African dude, and I'm like, yo, seriously, we do want to watch it. And he's like, oh, come with me. So he walks us. He, like, checks us out because you get these, like, uh, bracelets so you can put your shit in lockers or whatever. Oh, yeah. So we, like, turn in our bracelets or whatever. He's like, come with me. And we, like, go to this through this hallway, up these stairs, and it's a conference room with they're projecting it onto the oh, big screen. no way. And there's, like, it's like a U table. So we're watching this game with the employees of the Blue Lagoon. Icelanders. Icelanders. Yeah. Pure I, no ice. one understands how big soccer is in the rest of the world. It's massive. It's, it's the NFL it, everywhere and else. And the World Cup is the thing. You, yeah. you, 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 your whole, you can save your career if you just advance. Like, like Dude, a tie. A tie. And so Iceland scored. Wow. And that room went fucking ballistic. First? I believe it I, remember. I if don't, you're wrong, you're wrong. It doesn't matter. Yeah, I don't remember. I think it might have been first, yeah. but I also think that they might have tied, and that's why everyone was like, we fucking tied! Like, they, like, like they tied it up. Everyone. And we yeah. were like, go Iceland. I don't give a fuck about Argentina. Sure. Harbored a bunch of Nazis. Absolutely. <laughs> fuck the Nazis. Dude, that's not a hard stance. But I'm going to say, you be tripping stands against the Nazis. <laughs> yeah, dude. God, you're a hero. <laughs> and I was like, dude, fuck you. Yeah, let's go Iceland. And me and Fujak were like, selling it. Like, we're like, Iceland, yeah. Iceland. Dude, it's so fun to get into sports that you don't really care about. At all, in a country in that you really, it's a one-night stand. <laughs> we're like, yeah, I like it because I'm here. Yeah. I don't give a fuck when I leave. I'll die for this team. Ah! Dude, and there's this giant Viking-looking motherfucker, yeah. which there's a lot of there. They really do look like that. With yeah. beards. Huge. And, the, and they're it's just big, like, they're big. They're big. And they're like, this guy is just like, keeps looking at Fujak and I. And that edible's hitting. And oh, I'm like, no. oh, he knows we're American and he hates we're here. He hates that we're like ruining it. Like, I'm doing this to myself. And then I'm saying it out loud to Fujek. Fujek's like, you think? And I'm like, yeah, I think they're like mad we're here. And he's like, oh. I don't, th- I love Fujek. He's one of my best friends and he's very positive when I need that. And he's like, I Fuj- think they're probably enjoying that we're here. Do you ever call him Fujek City? No, we call him Futang. Futang's not bad. Futang was high school. I would. It's up to you, but give a give a Fujak City a go. You guys heard it here first. <laughs> Fujak, I'm bringing it to you. You're Fujak City now. <laughs> I love that. I don't even never think of that. Um, so we're like, he's like being positive, and he's like, no, I think I think these people are excited that we're excited for Iceland, and I'm like, I don't know. This fucking one guy, and I pointed him out, and then Fujak saw him. He's like, he's definitely staring us down. <laughs> And I was like, shit. <laughs> you're like, shit. you're my rock. Shit, 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 shit. And then, dude, it goes to overtime, goes to the extra minutes, and it ends in a tie, which is a win for Iceland. Yeah. Because Argentina is one of the greatest. Also, like, if you get, like, three ties in the open, like, you're advancing. Yeah. So sometimes by the end, you're like, you're like, we got to win a loss, and if we get a tie, we advance. So all you need is a tie. And so they were like, 
We tied. Yeah. We tied the best team. Like Argentina. If was you're really a top sub off the bench in Argentina, you can murder your wife and they'll just take care of it. Yeah. They're like, you're good at soccer. Yeah. You're fine. So we're like, fuck, that was crazy. And they're celebrating. We're high fiving everybody except the big Viking motherfucker. We're like high fiving everybody. And we're like, this is crazy. And then the Viking guy walks up to me and he goes, he leans in and he goes, Bobby Axelrod sent me to destroy you. What? And it was right after season three of Billions <laughs> where I betrayed the main character. And I went, dude, what? And he went, I'm a real big fan of the show. Oh, my God. You shouldn't have turned your back on Bobby Axelrod. <laughs> and I was like, dude, I thought you hated me. And he's like, I was fucking with goes, you. And he goes, I do. Yeah. But, but I can't like, tell the difference between yeah. <laughs> I am <laughs> very non-expressive. I do hate you. I have the expressive of face of the... Dude, he was like, I was like, oh, my God. You didn't see my eyebrows go and up And he slightly? was like, can I have a picture? And like took pictures with him and shit. Wow. And he's like, no, I'm a fan of the show. I kept looking because I didn't think it was you. He was like... Because well, why would you be in the staff Iceland. session in, in in Iceland? He's like, it's not the that's right. That's exactly place what to he be. said. He was like, I was like, why would Mafi be in this? And I was like, oh shit, I never thought about that. Henry Rollins has a thing where people are like, what are you? Because he's a traveler. Yeah. And he goes, what are you doing here? He goes, I'm here to meet you. That's great. Yeah. Because like, yeah, he is. He's like, I don't know. I was just like travel here. What's your story? Bill Murray always had that great line when someone would meet Bill Murray. He goes. No one's good. He would like just lean in and go, no one's going to believe you. And then he'd walk <laughs> away and they'd be like, oh, fuck. I met Bill Murray <laughs> at a golf course and he took one of my beers. Yeah. But yeah, that was like a You're moment. Like <laughs> that was a moment where I was like, that was fucking cool. Wow. I immediately texted Brian and David, the uh, creators of Billions, to be like, yo, I'm in Iceland and this guy, I got heat. Did, did, I got heat yeah. from the end of season three. I got, oh, wow. I got a not or one four. Up story, yeah, but I think I've told you this. I was in a hostel yeah. in Myanmar. And I met two American guys, and they're like, oh, what do you do? Like, we live in L.A. It's like, oh, I used to live in L.A. What do you do? They're like, writers. And like, oh, cool. What do you write for? I'm like, the show Billions. And I was like, my buddy's on that. And they're like, what? Yeah. I'm like, yeah, my buddy Dan's like, yeah, we know Dan. Black guy and white guy. Yeah. They were writers. And I was like, oh, I got to tell him. I won't be in touch for three and a half more I months. Just, but like, I know I said, like, you said black guy, white guy. But there was a two guys that I rem when you're saying this. They reached out and they were like, "We met Ari Shafir." Oh, okay, and I was like, "Oh my god, he's been gone." So where when you were he? saying that, that's when you just went yeah. to Indochina, <laughs> yeah. where I was like, "Oh fuck, that's crazy." Billions has a bigger reach. Dude, it reaches billions, dude. It's crazy. It does because in Sweden, I was like on the street and people were like, "Billions," and oh, you'd wow. be like, "Damn, okay. dude." All right, yeah. What's up? So what else do you? What else? Okay, so that's first of all, that's a fucking tremendous. It was tremendous. so fun. Real sports event. Oh, my Such God. Such a fucking key pull for travel. And so then it really was just like we went in and explored like all the old historic places that really all of it just kind of lumped together in that whole trip of like stuff we saw. So yeah. stuff. Started. But the one thing I remember about Iceland specifically was how fucking beautiful it was all the time. So the air is clean uh, uh, in a way that it's like. The, the 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 water is just clean. It's like you're disrupting a, a, a quaint fishing village. Yeah. And you're in their capital. Like Sweden, Stockholm felt like a big city with old ties, yeah. which I loved because my grandfather's from Uppsala. And so I was like, I wanted to go to Uppsala, but it, being able to stick around in Stockholm, I was like, this is fucking beautiful. But Iceland, specifically Reykjavik, was like, oh, this is, this feels like, we're the first explorers to come here. So both, it doesn't have yeah. that like American stomped on, which a lot of places yeah. you've been to a ton of places. Well, I always say there's like there's like the big city. Yeah. And some big cities have their own very, very specific feel, but yeah. every country has their big city. Yeah. So New York has a specific feel, and so does Chicago. We have a few. Um Paris has a specific feel, Tokyo has a specific feel. But London but but London, yeah. Kind of London but and like New York Sydney, are very similar. It's just like the big city of Australia. Um, uh, uh, Rangoon is just like the big city. So of everything there. else is Denver. Exactly. They're just they're like, just like eh, eh. it's just a big city. Yeah, but Reykjavik right. is their big city. One hundred twenty-two thousand people. That's crazy. So that's like a and there, town. And that's, there's that's fucking Allentown. Yeah. Probably. Less. Dude, check Allentown, Pennsylvania. <laughs> I want to see Allentown versus Reykjavik. But man, it was like. 121, even. Damn. It's about even. Damn. Wow. Dude, it, and you go and you really, it feels, sometimes when you see 
those smaller towns, they feel like impeded on, and it might have changed since I've been there, but like it feels impeded on by bigger countries where you're like, McDonald's are everywhere, uh-huh. and Burger Kings yep. are everywhere, and there's a Foot Locker everywhere. But Reykjavik was like, even Shanghai was like that. Yeah. It's like, oh, this is Zara Gifts in Shanghai. So this isn't really even China. This yeah. is just a, a city. But Reykjavik was like, we went looking for sweatshirts and shit. And yeah. it was like, you were going into like an Icelandic store where they're like, this is. This isn't like a chain. Right. And I'm sure there's change there, but I'm saying like where we stayed in Reykjavik was like, oh, this all feels mom and pop-ish. Yeah. It was very cool. I made a mistake because I was like, I'm going to get a t-shirt. I got this t-shirt. That's Iceland. a clinch. Yeah. Thanks. But like, um, but like uh, then I was just walking around and I passed by a record store and I'm like, I should have gotten Reykjavik record store. Yeah. That would have been a better yeah. shirt. I don't know why I didn't just buy two t-shirts, but yeah. like, but like, yeah, but like, buy two. but like a local store place is like a way cooler vibe. Yeah. It's it, fucking it is awesome. a Homer town. Yeah. And you, what'd you do in Reykjavik proper? We literally just walked around. We would walk around till we were tired. Yeah. We would stop and get food. We would eat and then just bullshit. Cause it's like one of my lifelong best friends. So it was like fun to be with him in a way where we're like, you didn't drink, huh? He drank. I didn't. It's a good drinking town. I know. It's it surprisingly like... good drinking town. Dude, the, the locals they were get out. after it. Dude, where we stayed, we stayed across from this busy bar. Uh-huh. And there was no air conditioning, so we had to leave the windows open. And the Why light, we, yeah. dude, at one point, uh, Sam gave me those Tootsie Roll edibles, so I had <laughs> a whole bag of them. I just saw he has a new, uh, uh, sorry to interrupt, but he has a new uh, weed called uh, Lahaim. It's Jewish weed, and it's just le- high M, whatever. I, I think know. I got an eighth of it. I'm pretty sure <laughs> I got pretty an eighth good. I smoked it yesterday. I was like, this does it. Yeah. Yeah. Lachaim like, yeah. is <laughs> fucking awesome. But I, I, those were the- Tootsie Rolls edibles, yeah. I had like a bag of them. Nice. So that's what I was eating when I just wanted to get high, because I had the joint, and I smoked it, and then I fucking was like, I'll just eat these edibles. So I would eat a bunch of edibles, and then I'd get fucked up and be like, I'm going to bed. And I went to bed, and I woke up, and I was like, damn, it's morning already, but it was 2.30. It was light, Wow! and you people were partying that. outside, <gasps> and Fujak likes to booze. Yeah. So he was like, I'm going out. And he's like, I'm <laughs> yeah. hoping the waitress is out, because the hot waitress from downstairs. So he would go out every night. Dude, the funniest was in Stockholm, where one night he was like, I'm going to go to the bars. And I was like, nah, man, we're already fucked up. Like, I was high. He was drunk. I was like, let's just fucking, we'll go explore tomorrow. And he's like, cool. And I woke up early and had breakfast, and he wasn't out. And then, like, I went and got my notebook and got a coffee and was writing jokes. Yeah. And, like, smoked a little bit of weed. And I was like, what the fuck's food? 1 p.m., I went up to his hotel room, and I knocked. And he was like, yeah, dude, I went out till like, 5 <laughs> in the morning. And I was like, oh, man. You got to let him. Unless you're doing really daytime stuff. It's like, you're still having fun. But then he had fun. And I was like, you missed breakfast. Because this Sweden, this Stockholm hotel had like the best breakfast I've ever had. Yeah, but it was how but, expensive was was Iceland? Was Reykjavik? Very. You remember? Yeah, right. It was very expensive. Yeah. It was the most expensive place we went. It was the Airbnb. And, and, oh no, that's what's yeah. Amsterdam, we got a like a mid hotel that wasn't that bad. Stockholm, we got a nice hotel because Stockholm originally was like I'm gonna do this up, but that's you choosing to spend. I chose to spend in Stockholm, There's and no- then when we added on the two cities, I was like, all right, well, let's not get crazy. Yeah. And I already had the hotel in Stockholm, so I was like, we'll get a mid one in, in Amsterdam that wasn't even, like, we had to take a long bus. And then Reykjavik, we were like, we're downtown, it's an Airbnb, but it was like, we split a bed. Oh, really? Yeah. Split a bed? Yeah, it was just a studio. Oh, that's a tough one. Yeah, ass to ass, dude. That's Slept a tough ass one. ass to ass the whole night. That's a tough one. I take that fucking edible. <laughs> we were watching Fast and the Furious in, in, in the hotel Icelandic room? Yeah. or whatever oh, really? it was. I was Dove? Fu- Dude, I was fucked up. I was sitting there watching like this. I can understand. My eyes were like, you know when you eat edibles and your eyes go super red? So small, yeah. Like, Fujak looked over at me. I was like, oh, I don't, I'm not liking this. But Sit down. woke up and I was like, I want that fish stew. <laughs> there is something to be like when you discover something in a new country, yeah. a, 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 a food or whatever, mm-hmm. and you're like, I want to go back. Yeah. I'm not going to find this where I'm from. Yeah, I wanted it. So uh, that same trip was when the, I know this sounds crazy, was the first time I had a Stroop waffle. Like a real stroop crazy. No, most people don't even know what that is. It's like little f- mini waffles with Amsterdam. It's big. Yeah, it? and I was like, I would, I was like going to find the best stroop waffle. You put them over your coffee, yes, or that's... cocoa, and it heats it up and it makes it all melty. This flight attendant, yeah, that we met on the flight over to Sweden, 
was taught us how to do that. She's like, when you go to Amsterdam, you have to do this. And yeah. I was like, all right, whatever. And then we got Stroop Waffles and did it. We were like, oh, fuck. It was incredible. Yeah. That was my favorite trip because it was like a real vacation. You know what's interesting about Iceland, too? Um, that guy, Ari, he was like talking to Marin. He was like, he'd like hang out with American comics. Um, and uh, and Marin's like, oh, yeah, I guess. He, he referenced like indigenous people, like what happened to them. And, and Ari was like, oh, we actually didn't have any. We didn't do anything bad to anybody. Yeah, it's <laughs> it our land. Un- it was uncharted. It was we just, just went and settled it. Yeah. it. It's basically the surface of the moon. Yeah, it's the surface of the moon. You didn't go north or anything? I wish I would have. Like, we were only there for three days, yeah. four days. Yeah. I even think, it. I want to say it was like three and a half, and it was like travel on back ends. You know, so we like got in, did something, then we had like a day and a half to do stuff. Did you go to any the local um, uh, saunas or anything? No. But I want to go back. I want to go back, too. It's a place where I'm like, I want to save up and do it right. Yeah. And I want to go for like a week. I do don't want to go f- there. <sighs> we should do a show there. Do a show. Here's why. Do a show. The whole thing's tax deductible. Let's so you're do- paying two-thirds of, it, of of whatever you spend. Let's do a show next summer. I might do it. Um, what's it called? If we can go on the way. What are you doing? You doing Edinburgh? Yeah. If you do Edinburgh, on I'll the- go with you in July. Yeah. When everyone goes to Montreal. Yeah, fuck well, let's go to Iceland. Let's go to Iceland. Let's go to Reykjavik and bring like Column or somebody. Yeah, and they're always like, "It's not the best time to tour." We're like, yeah, but it's the best time to be there. I don't want to go to Reykjavik in the fucking winter. And dude, we can get a show even if it's fucking fifty people. No, no, dude, there's it, a hundred thousand people there, so we gotta we can't have fucking. Dude, I played to one tenth of one percent of the country. That's great. <laughs> I did like four hundred people. That's whatever. great. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. And then the next day, my promoter. Promoted Justin Bieber the next day. They want to go and get free tickets. I'm like, oh, free tickets, I'll go. And he played to 10% of the country. Damn. Yeah. A thousand people. <laughs> yeah. And he's fucking 10% of the country. <laughs> he played Dude, like, let's do it. He played at the comedy cellar. And it was like, oh, Dude, my God. I'll, I'll do that. I yeah, would, let's do it. Like, I'll do a full fucking week there. And let's do a show in the middle of the week. I'm trying to plan a year. I was there. When I was right there, now. Bill Murray was there. Really? Bill Murray was, like, doing a thing with a cellist. We can hang out with Ari. We, he took me north. And there's so much cool shit to do up oh, there. Oh man, we'll do mushrooms. So the mushrooms there, I should I should be interviewing you, but like whatever. Uh, the mushrooms there are some of the harshest mushrooms oh, you've boy. ever had. They're the Viking mushrooms. Yeah, the ones they're, make you go berserker. The berserker. <laughs> yeah, the berserker. I, don't, I don't know if I want to do berserker. Yeah, ones. but we'll they're the purple death with, or whatever. Yeah, they make you lose an arm. You're like, I'm not not gonna fight. Yeah, dude. I'm fighting. Yeah. I barely feel this. I'm on the <laughs> berserker. <laughs> berserker. Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to go berserker. He said him and his like nice wife um you know like they're yeah. good people they're good yeah. people they're very and he nice sees, like hippies like you know in the cul-de-sacs they have a lot of cul-de-sacs there yeah um and these are little details by the way that you only remember if you're journaling or writing homes like yeah. more cul-de-sacs than i would think <laughs> you know <laughs> it's like it's not in the travel book yeah but he would see like backpackers like in the cul-de-sac just staring at the ground walking around it's like what's wrong with them and <laughs> so yeah. I, I was like they're looking for shrooms bro yeah they're trying to get fucked yeah. up yeah oh my god we got it. let's do that next yeah, july okay. i would love to do that I would love yeah. to go over there. We'll plan a show. I'm going to do a European tour in probably April, but I'll just go back for Edinburgh. Or if I'm not going to Edinburgh, then we'll just go. Yeah. We'll, we'll just do take a show a, we'll and just go. Take a week. Yeah. In July. Yeah. When where it's, it's nice like hoodie weather. Yeah. Hoodie weather there. Un- unbearable here. Yeah, that's the way to do it. The way to do it is you got to get away and we'll from just, like... we'll do like a big show. We'll get, we'll try to get as many people So they as do it can. at the opera house. There's small rooms at the opera house. I was... That's I, that's where the the thing that I showed you, the Viking ship? Yeah. It's outside, it right the, outside opera the opera house. house. Which but, is right on the water. Mm-hmm. Dude, the opera house is this amazing thing with all it's gorgeous. We walked windows. around that. Yeah, we and walked so around it, that a lot. It's intentionally showing you the sunset. Like, yeah. it, it lets you see this amazing and sunset. And they have art. They have local art in there. It's fucking cool as shit. Iceland really supports Iceland, our local artists. Yeah, Iceland rocks, dude. It rocks. Yeah, let's go do a show. Okay, in Iceland. okay. For we're sure. gonna have new hours. We're gonna fucking come and bring. We'll each do forty. So let me tell you. So did did did, did uh, when the uh, the uh, not Afghanistan when they beat Argentina? Yeah. Did they do the fucking? Well, thing? yeah, they were doing something. They did a bunch of shit that we didn't know what it was. They were celebrating. Yeah. No, I mean, at, so at the stadiums they started doing this. thing. Oh, I don't know. We were. I mean, we were in a conference room. And they were just like hugging and kissing and fucking going nuts. Well, I don't know if you they saw didn't do it, like a haka. But afterwards, what's the haka? You know, like the Pacific Islanders. So they do that. So that was all the fucking replays when when Iceland advanced mm-hmm. after every like a lot of Iceland shut down because they went to support. Yeah. So if ten thousand people went out to support, 
They're like, hey, we get we can't open really. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's a large we lost of all of our critical staff. And the captain of the football team did this thing where he like saluted the fans in the audience because he know that's all our. I yeah. know everybody here. Yeah, this is know? our guys. And they start doing this thing where they go. Oh, that's awesome. You don't remember this? No. And they started doing it more and more, and then the crowd was doing it with them. It's like, oh, that's oh, that's pretty awesome. Oh, oh, oh. And they all were doing that. I gotta, like, I'm going to watch the, it. Oh, you got to watch it, dude. Yeah, I don't remember that. Oh, it's wild. Yeah. And oh. it was like, what the fuck? I love that Thousands shit. of people, tens of thousands of people visiting to watch their team play. And it was like, wow. So when I did my show, we do intermissions. Yeah. Because it's a big theater show. It's European yeah. style. They do intermissions. And so I came back. I did like 25 or something like that Then after the opener. Then we came back. And I was like, started up the show again. And I, before, I just went up to the mic. And I just waited. Yeah. And they were all like, okay. And they got quiet. And I just like put my hands out to my side. Yeah. And I was, and they all know it. They, they knew it. it. They, they knew exactly where to go. And they all knew it me. And more and faster Dude. and faster. And I was so stoked. And when I got off, I was like, what do you think of that to Ari? To yeah. Eldorn? And he was like, no, it's cool. I mean, it's hacky now. Everybody like, what? <laughs> because, yeah, bankers do that. Uh, they, you car- just did the Icelandic yeah. get her done. Yeah, yeah. So good because, job. Because, yeah, this guy opened a car dealership yeah. and did it. It's oh, like, it's like, oh yeah, that's got to suck. That suck. Like, I was so stoked. You see a piece of their culture and you're like, I'm going to do it. And they're like, <laughs> yeah, everybody does that. Oh, my God. Yeah. What else did you get into? What did you see there? I mean, the, the land is gorgeous. The land is gorgeous. It's just, it really does look on, it looks very untouched by humanity. Yeah. In a way of like, you would drive on that bus and just look at all that volcanic. Because we have everything built up on the side. Yeah. Yes, sorry, volcanic rock, you're just like looking and you're like, there is nothing. It and then we would turn going. around and you'd be by the shore and you would see like the villages and shit in the Reykjavik and you're like, this is gorgeous. What do you mean the villages and shit? Like small little, like the houses outside. and stuff outside of the city yeah. and like where there's like little farmsteads and shit. And you're like, this is fucking beautiful. I was struck. I was to this day. I'm still like blown away with how beautiful Iceland was. Yeah, it was. And like, I grew up in Colorado, so I've seen like a lot of beautiful scenery. Yeah, and I was like, this shit is. But like in Colorado, Utah, even LA, the mountains are off in the distance. Yeah. So like, oh, look at the mountains right behind the city. But you are in the city. There's yeah. No like. Yeah. Denver's flat as fuck. And then you drive two hours, and when you like hit Georgetown, you're like, oh, okay, I'm in the mountains. Right. And you go farther in the Vale, and you're like, I'm in the mountains. Yeah. And then you just keep going. And but there's like, not that that road to the Blue Lagoon. There's like nothingness nothing. there. It's just that road. Yeah, you're just on a bus looking out, and you're like, it's just fucking rocks. Yeah, it's awesome. I'm very excited to go back. I'm getting pumped. Yeah, right. We yeah. gotta go back. Let's do it. Let's call. Well, let's call our guys later. Or yeah. email them later, and be like, next Figure July. Out. Next July. I think they're just getting done with Edinburgh now. What what, what month are we? August? Yeah. As soon as they're back from Edinburgh, everybody's like, okay, let's start booking stuff again. Yeah. I think like Edinburgh's done in probably like the next week. Yeah. So all this do- week. Yeah. Woo! So we can just make a trip, dude. I'm down, dude. I'm down. I'm so excited for that. You know what I'm starting to realize? Because we did like the ski trip. Yeah. And we've been doing the ski trip for a while. Yeah. And like trying to make ends meet and getting favors for like lift tickets and stuff. And then we're getting bigger, you know? And so now it's like, oh, we don't have to do a whole weekend. We can just do one night. And oh, we can charge more money because it's like an all-star show. Norman's bachelor party was mm-hmm. like, hey, this is an all-star show. This yeah, is like seeing... a few comics. This is an all-star show. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, we can actually just have these fun times. Yeah. And not just barely pay. It's like we're bringing a real fucking show to these places. Yeah, so if we go to Iceland. Yeah. We can charge 50 kroners. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I never understood the, the, the money there. It's a dangerous one because it's, it's like a lot. It's a lot. It looks like play money. Yeah. But then it's like Australia. We're like, ah, whatever. You're like, this isn't Thailand, bro. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's 1.1 to 1. It's, well, it was like, <laughs> even when I was there, I, I didn't understand the ratio. And I, I, I was like, oh, I don't know how much. They'd be like 20,000 crowners. And you're like, I, fuck, <laughs> okay. I don't know. I don't and yeah, know. I know the accent's not accurate. But it's my white was, people uh-huh. with blue eyes accent. Was popcorn a big thing there? Or am I remembering? I don't know. Wrong? I don't know. Again, I really wish I would have spent more than four days there. Yeah. Because it really felt like, especially on the back end of, of Stockholm and Amsterdam, it felt like it was like we were tired. We were like, didn't. Right. Like the same push we had in Stockholm to be like, let's go check this museum out. Here's here's my, I'm going back to, uh, to, um, um, Mexico City for for Thanksgiving. I'm going with a few people, and so I've been there once. Yeah, a bunch of other people in the once. Some people have been there more than once. And I was like to the group, I was like, let's do this. We'll do stuff, whatever. Everybody pick one thing. 
that you loved from before, and that's your one thing that we all have to do. Right. Uh, so mine is Lucha Libre. Oh, like, oh I want my it so bad. God. Yeah, and it's like, I want to, you guys will love it. It's most of them have even been there, but I'm like, that's my call. So I did a restaurant. Fucking it's so, fun. so fun. We could do that with Iceland, where yeah. I'm like, I know a natural hot spring in the north. Oh, I want to do a spa God. in the city that I'm like, we, we're going to do that. I'll go get that fish stew. Get that fish stew. I'll that frisca booze. Fish, black and bacon. I'll fucking find it, dude. I'll find that place, and I'll see if that dead-eyed hottie is still working there. Lamb was going. big there, if I remember right. Dude, the food there was really good. Yeah. I really remember being like, ah, this food's going to be, I don't know. Because Amsterdam, I was like, ah. Eh. You didn't like it. We tried some. Oh, no. Amsterdam was fucking rad. We went to a restaurant. <laughs> 180, yeah. <laughs> yeah, because I remember this restaurant where they were like, I made friends with this Dutch guy. And he was like, you want some real Amsterdam food? Go to this place by the Van Gogh Museum. It's a hole in the wall. But they do traditional like food, oh, like Netherlands fish food. food. Yeah. And I was like, and it was sausages and potatoes with this gravy. Dude, it was fucking so good. I wish I would have journaled. Because like we went and Fujak was like hung over and he was like instantly cured. Yeah. He was like, this meal is unbelievable. A journal isn't important. Like just at breakfast, you take 10 minutes. You're Here. Like, what, what did I, I wish I would have done. I did that in Scotland. You I did, did that for, for when I was in Edinburgh. It helps you get your Edinburgh, thoughts together I was like, in general. And I, but now I can go back and be like, Pff. yeah. And I was like, oh yeah, we got a, I got a full English breakfast with Russell Howard at this place, and then Sean Patton and I went and got fucking cakes. Oh, by the way, you just went to Edinburgh, 2019. Yeah. Um, um, I did that with my journal from like Southeast Asia, and yeah. as you read, it, like I forgot about that guy completely. I forgot about this place completely. Yeah. I forgot, oh yeah, and it just floods back because yeah. you wrote it. It That's never would have come back. Yeah, journal when you travel. Definitely journal when you travel. Even if you just sit down. Just sit down. Morning breakfast. Morning breakfast. Morning cup breakfast. of coffee. Yeah. Five minutes would be like, we did this yesterday. We did this. We did this. I felt e- like Yeah, this. even if it's, uh, what do they call breakfast to bed journaling, where it's not your feelings or anything. It's just like, here's what I did. You're going to remember the feelings. Yeah. Damn, hell yeah. I'm very excited about this. Yeah. Okay, let's go to Iceland. What else did you do there that you remember, or am I just fucking pulling now that was, you're just pulling now i don't okay. really that was it that was great that was like the, you know a very fun fucking trip that i'm excited to go back to yeah i wish yeah. i like wish i would have done more one cool thing about at about iceland too is that they icelandic air and maybe wow is that their other airline uh they let you do long layovers yeah so it's like instead of two hours you can do four days well that's why that's why we went because fujak found that out Right. And he was like, by the way, when you buy your ticket, buy it like this, and yeah. we can fly, and we're it's like we're just on a layover. Which is a lay- and then you just go into and town. And we went back layover. to the airport and just got back on and flew back to New York. Yeah. And then he flew back to trip. Denver, and I was home. Damn, it's going Because it is Reykjavik direct to JFK. Mm-hmm. So it's not like, very far. No. It's there to there. And also, I think the world moves under you or something. <laughs> 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 like, you just head south, and then it like, gets you there. You're you're on the jet. Uh, no, the jet stream is this. Because when when I when I flew from uh, Scotland there, we flew. I remember reading um, Gods of America. Yeah. And the last one is like is like the Norse gods. Yeah. And I remember reading it as I was looking down over the Icelandic. That's awesome. Like so, so you go like up and then over. Yeah, that's for awesome. some reason. Damn, dude, Reykjavik. Well, yeah. hell yeah. Let's do it, dude. Yeah. I'm very excited about that. Oh my god. That in <sighs> Japan. Oh, me and okay. Me and DeRosa were already tra- talking to the Live Nation guy from uh, Asia. Japan. Like, Can you get us a-? And he's like, ah, cost effective, but it was like, we don't want to we don't break even. Tokyo. Like, oh, well, then, yeah, we could do that. Tokyo, Tokyo. Okinawa. Yeah. Go all over that yeah, place. Yeah, let's go. I would fucking love Where it. else? Maybe I should do this as a segment, too, because we have Yeah. Time. What's on your list? Japan. What's in your head? Japan is number one. Japan, okay. I want to go to Tokyo. I want to go to some of the islands around it just to Japanese see Japanese islands. Yeah, just to see the Japanese islands. I'm yeah. not really be, you've gone to China. Yeah. I think China China's fun. Dude, there's some places that just aren't in your mind. and you're like do you have anything against that spot? You're like no, it just it doesn't interest me. And other places like god, oh, gets me some Yeah, reason. I would say I want to go to Australia. Never done Australia. Oh, really? Oh, that's a Never tour. been there. That's a tour for sure. New Zealand you would kill and, there. And then I would like to go twice. to Fiji while I'm over there. Oh, I want to do the jump of boom to boom. You know what I mean? Where is um, then, where's French French Polynesia? It's right around here. Too, French, right? Poly- French Polynesia, yeah. It would just be cool to do. Yeah. yeah. I like, went there last. Oh, Tahiti there. Yeah, Tahiti. I went there for uh, New Year's last year. That's insane. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? We're just in the middle of the ocean. No. Like, how do they even find anything there? 
I don't know, but then New Zealand's let's that's we got to go in like in like February or March. Well, that's where all the billionaires live now. Oh, really? Yeah, because they built all their houses there. That's like, another one. Where it's, like, major... it's so nice. It's sweater weather. Yeah, I love it. Anything that's got Bay Area weather, I'm yeah. all on board. <laughs> where it's like in the middle of the afternoon, you can have a t-shirt on and you're fine. Yeah. But every other time, you need a sweatshirt or a jacket. Outside lands is like this is great shorts. Like you didn't plan right. Yeah, <laughs> you're gonna get fucked. Yeah, when people go to San Francisco in the winter or in the yeah. summer, and they're like, "Oh yeah, I brought my shorts." You're like, "Well, pack those." I wanted to. Uh, my plan was for New Year's. I was like, "I want to go to where either the last place that the New Year's in, or the first place it rings in the New Year." That's fun. So right on, on the, the date line. on the on the. It's this though, Solomon Islands, and it's about a forty-eight hour trip to really? get there. And Tahiti was like thirteen, okay, <laughs> so I was like, yeah. eh, right, "I'll, do, I'll do my best." Yeah, but that's fucking cool. Yeah, let's go to. I mean, this is not on the way to Iceland at all. <laughs> but, um, yeah, but like that's a separate trip. We did Japan, dude. Here's the thing: I wrote a letter to the fucking. I was just feeling good in Iceland, and I wrote a postcard to the uh, to the phone staff at the comedy store oh. from Iceland. Yeah, and I was like, because I still relate to like, I was talking to um, um, Renan and Maddie and um, and um, Jordan Jensen yesterday, and yeah. how how Jordan was like, I still feel like a fat chick, even though <laughs> I'm not, but yeah. I still like that could be me again. Yeah, and I'm like, that's where I'm with open micers. Where I'm like, I'm still, I'm still an open mic or my hard or door, door guy. Yeah, you're just like, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm like, here. I could come back here. I can yeah. come back here it's at like any you moment. Waited in ten years. I'm like, yeah. yeah, I still feel like it though. Yeah. Um, so I was like, guys, this fucking industry, it's gonna take us to great places. Just like stick with it. And like, I'm in Iceland now on a on the company dime, in this faraway place. It's it's just it takes us to these fucking sick trips. You know, we were having a conversation before the podcast about how like you read. Like how you take shit talking online? Like how do you, how do you take it in? Does it upset you? Do yeah. you use it as motivation? Do you listen to the criticisms? But one thing that always strikes my mind is whenever I'm upset recently, especially during COVID or whatever, I like look around and I'm like, dude, I get to do comedy, yeah, and I don't have to have another job, yeah. That fucking rules. I was like torturing myself over this because because COVID put me behind my two years, yeah, you know, and touring. So now I'm like. Fuck, there's so many American markets I haven't hit, but also I want to go back to Europe, also I want to go back to Australia. These are like trips I do, yeah. you know? And it's like, fuck. Um, and then I'm just like, and there's less money in, in stand up in uh, Europe with yeah. the flights, and it just doesn't pay as much. And I'm like, fuck. And then it just hit me. I just had a moment of clarity in Paris, like two days in, when you, just, you think clear when you're traveling. And you're like, oh, I'm going to go to Europe and still make more money than I should. Yeah. If I was, I'd make like lawyer money for two weeks. Yeah, you're like, cool. Yeah, it's awesome. It's just less than I'll make in Phoenix. But you just, and it's like, no, I'm doing that. That's awesome. There's something fucked up about current culture that really focuses on the shit that you don't have instead of the shit that you do have. Oh, and you're yeah. like, dude, we're pretty good. You know what I mean? Deep thoughts. Whenever, like, yeah, like you're just like, we're fine. Yeah. We're, I have a PlayStation 5. I'm, I'm okay. <laughs> yeah. I have yeah. the new Madden. I don't need to complain about anything. Right. I just need to write better jokes. <laughs> it's just like, I need to write better <laughs> jokes. I need to get better at stand-up, and I need to like, stop. Like, it's all doing it. I picture, like, what if they like LeBron James? Like, LeBron, you just won the title, um, uh, your third title. What's next? And he's like, I'm going to try to win more title. What do you mean? Yeah, I'm doing what? it. I am I doing the it. next. Yeah, this is it. Yeah, we always have, like, the, you know, like, uh, Stranger Things season four came out. Yeah. And originally, it was supposed to be the last season. So when they, like, filmed it, a majority of it they were like this is it and then at the end netflix was like we want a fifth season so they were like okay we gotta change it so season four comes out in these like massive chunks i watched it everyone Each watched the movie yeah yeah everyone watched it and immediately everyone's like here's what we think's gonna happen in season five and you're like they haven't even wrote it yeah just sit back even wrote it. just sit back yet. yeah you can't enjoy it you can't just and i think traveling for people even if you can do a little amount of traveling it makes you realize it takes you out of your home, and so you realize what you have back at your home. Like I, like when I went to Scotland, interesting. I was like, "Damn, dude, I miss American air conditioning," which you've been which you've been hearing the whole podcast. Yeah. You're hearing BTUs, <laughs> baby. Those are BTUs keeping me and Ari cold in this hot day. You missed American air conditioning, right? It makes you miss what you have back at home or appreciate the things. You yeah, take for and then I watched Colin Quinn's. Um, Red State, Blue State? I think it was Red State, Blue State or Unconstitutional where he makes a joke about there's no ice in England. Oh, yeah. You can't get a proper amount mm -hmm. of ice. And then, like, while I was in England, I was like, damn, that Colin joke is so true because you just don't These realize. little things you notice. Yeah. Towels. Everything's fresh when you travel. Yeah, you're you're taking it in. Right. You're 
you're the little not... things like the sulfur smell in the showers. Yeah. You're getting clean, but you're also a little dirtifying. And I still had a little bit of a sense of smell back then. So I was like, oh, okay, I can. If this is this strong for me, it must be terrible for everyone you're else. You're almost sense of smell? Oh, I'm Dewey Cox, baby. I From can't what? smell. Smoking cigarettes, I think, all those years. Wow. And then COVID. But COVID, COVID is when I noticed I never had smell. Because I could, everyone was like, can you not smell? I'm like, what's, I don't think I've been. smell? Any. I was like, I can taste. Yeah, travel makes you realize what you've got in your own place. Yeah, because you're like, oh, man, your bed is always the first thing for us on the road. We, like, I never thought I'd be a guy who was like, this is a good bed. This is a good segment idea for this podcast. Like, yeah. what, did, what did it make you realize? Or what is travel? What do you get out of travel in general? Like, yeah. Take me to a place, but then, like, what do you, what's your travel tips? Because like, then when I came home, I was like, my stuff. All my stuff in my bed, and I can fucking the pressure of my shower. You know what I got from uh, when I got back from Asia, what? Southeast Asia, and I didn't realize like whatever. It's it's. I went straight to surprise my parents. Yeah. At home, and so I, you know I'm overcome. Like, oh, this is America again. I'm, I'm I'm like I don't. Yeah, you come back and it's loud. The toilet paper is the softest. Dude, it's like a our cloud. ass care here is oh, I was like, what the fuck? It's no thick. one takes care of their asshole like Americans. Now, granted. Far East, they have squatting shit. Probably better for your colon. Yeah, but you're dipping your hand in fucking sh- and just rubbing your but ass. We just... take care of our yeah. bungholes better than anybody. <sighs> Soder, thanks, buddy. I love you, buddy. That was great. I yeah, dude, I'll always podcast with you. Yeah, you're the I easiest dude back. to come and talk about random shit with. <laughs> I remember talking to you from Ecuador, going like, "Oh, thanks. I didn't want to go this long about talking about weed." You're like, "Oh, I'll talk about fucking weed all day. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll fucking <laughs> talk, talk about my weed. car outside a fucking supermarket." Yeah, I was like, in, "I'll fucking Ecuador." Yeah, I'll get nuts, dude. Uh, but yeah, let's do that show in Iceland. Yeah, check out Dan's uh, special still streaming on HBO Max. HBO Max, Son of a Gary. Son of a Gary. I was there at the taping. Wonderful. Thanks. Um, it was forgotten mostly because of the COVID. COVID. The billboards lived on. I think they're probably yeah, still up. But. but it didn't even help. <laughs> it didn't even help. Also, there's like going to be new clips coming out soon. I'll be wearing this because I'm taping shit On uh, your YouTube? Yeah, I'm going to try to build up my YouTube, YouTube channel. YouTube.com slash Dan Soder. Um, peace. Well, that's the episode, everybody. Please go reach out to Dan Soder on social media. Tell him you liked it. Leave a comment on YouTube. The YouTube account is at UBTrippinPod. You can also find us on socials. Um, everywhere, Instagram.com slash UB Trippin uh, pod. Sorry. Um, yeah, leave a comment on there. Post some stuff. If you've been to Iceland, uh, maybe you'll also enjoy uh, leaving some comments about what you did while you were there. Uh, Dan's trip ruled. My trip there ruled. Every trip to Iceland rules. Uh, leave a comment in the YouTube. Uh, help the algorithm. And also, just like I'm in there reading stuff, if you did something fun, I'll be back there. And I'd love to, and so I know Dan would too, love to see uh, what there is to do. So leave a comment. Subscribe right now at UB Trippin' Pod. And subscribe everywhere you listen to podcasts at UB Trippin'. Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts. Is Stitcher still around? Spotify and everything. Um, I think that's it. Don't forget, my new special, April 26th and 27th, taping. In Washington, D.C. at the Capitol Turnaround and also all of Australia for May and June on sale right now at AriShafir.com. Today's episode was produced by your mom's house studios, uh, raided by a former fat friend of mine who's no longer with us. Uh, Someone who took over was a thin man who I don't believe is the real man who's in charge. The old man's name was Careful, and this guy's not at all. Uh, Today's episode was edited primarily by Garrett Nickel, and uh, Eduardo Gamba also did some editing. Um, that's it, you guys. Next week, I've got, I've got two to choose from. I've got two to choose from. It's going to be, I, I think it'll be Kevin Ryan or it'll be David Tell. Kevin Ryan talking about Germany, David Tell talking about USO shows performing it on army bases, military bases. And then the week after that, Joe Liss has already decided he's going to agree to come in and tell me about his epic trip to Machu Picchu. So subscribe so you're aware of all those things coming up. And guys, that's it. Go enjoy your life. It's springtime, everybody. If you're single, if you're dating somebody, maybe become single now because there's too many options available. It's breakup season. Enjoy it. Um, can I just say goodbye in Iceland? I don't know. See you on the road. Where you been and where you go? This is Ari's Travel Show, yeah. We're gonna go on a journey today. See what there's to see in this big world. We're exploring different places. 
seeing all different types of faces. We're gonna talk about travel today. It's 